What is up, Sagittarius? This is your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you for the Queen's Herald B. And here we are. We are almost, what, we're mid-December, so we're almost over for 2020. woo -hoo! So now let's see what 2021 brings. We've had murder hornets. We've had COVID. We've had elections. I don't want to know about 2021 yet, so I'm kind of wishing I didn't have this gift. But then again, I wouldn't be able to help all of you wonderful, beautiful people. So I guess I'm grateful. Anyway, uh, this is for December 16th through December 31st, 2020. It is a general reading, so it may not apply. Take what you can, leave what you can't, and throw out the rest. Bye, Felicia. Um, let's see. Readings are on sale. And it's also buy one, get one half off. So if you have a hard to buy for person, let me know. My email's in the box below. Let's get to the good shit. Anyway, um, I apologize for my lateness too. It was my anniversary last night. Anyway, um, Sagittarius, I feel like you may have be having some money problems lately. You're trying to start a new venture and it's not getting off the ground. What you're not realizing is that that frivolous spending that you've been doing um, is where that money is going. It's like one minute you feel like you're sitting on top of the world and the next minute it's like you don't have this healthy, balanced relationship with money right now. You need to rebalance things out because if you're not on a strict budget, you need to be. If you want to get whatever business this is off the ground, you're going to need to be on a strict budget because you're going to have to spend money and materials. No matter what kind of business you start, you're going to have startup expenses. Um, I feel like it could be you or a partner that's spending too much and with the holidays coming up and everything, I feel like there's a serious imbalance here. And I know this is awkward to talk about in a reading, but this is what I'm getting. So, um, but I feel like there's a relationship here that's really toxic. Okay. Um, not just the spending of money, but it's like you can either go up these stairs and go to that light or you can take his hand is the way I see it. Okay. Whatever's going on with you, maybe you're thinking about, um, cheating on your significant other, whatever this is, the right way to go is up those stairs if you're wondering Sag. if you're thinking about going back to a past girlfriend or boyfriend or a husband or wife or whatever that might be it's not the way to go i'm telling you that will blow up in your face so whatever this is for you um no matter what it is the feeling and what they're telling me is that this right here is going to have the same consequences no matter what situation it is. Okay, he's the devil for a reason. He looks enticing. He looks great. You want to take his hand. You want to get to know him, what kind of person he is. And then it's the most toxic, toxic MF you ever meet. So whatever this toxicity is that's coming into your life, it's branching out into all areas of your life. Okay, you take his hand and you're going to have toxic central you're emotionally undecided and I think that if you're in a relationship and you're thinking about sneaking around I think you should just tell this person because the outcome of this is very ugly so if you're in a relationship just tell this person that you're unsure at this time and you don't know you need some time or you need a break and really think about what you're doing. Don't take that break to run to someone else. Think about what you're doing, okay? Think about what you want from the relationship. And if you don't still want this person, be honest with them and let them go. But don't keep them at home and then turn around and be with somebody else, okay? I'm seeing it here in the cards, guys. It's not gonna end well. Um, I see this person comes with burdens, you know, they, everybody comes with some sort of burden, some past, some things, some baggage, not anyone in this world. There is not one damn person that you could point out to me that doesn't have baggage. 
not one, including myself. Okay. So we know we all have baggage, but I feel like there's, this person is extra. Okay. Extra AF. And you take his hand and this is going to blow up really nasty. There it is. Whatever's happening here, if it's somebody that you work with that you're getting to know behind your significant other's back or um, whatever that might be, there's a tower moment either here right now or coming within the next four to six weeks. It's the only time they tell me a time frame is when it's a tower. So if you're going through this right now and you're wanting to work it out, judgment's definitely not in your favor, okay? If you've already done the damage, this person's just going to lead you around in toxic cycles. Um, they're a lesson for you to learn, okay? This isn't real love. This is toxicity. And you need to understand that if you are going round and around with somebody, that this is out of habit. This is out of um, something that should have you two should have already broken apart. This is a soulmate situation. As I always say, soulmate expiration date. Twin flame is forever. Um, this particular soulmate is here to make you realize that you need to break out of these patterns of toxicity. Okay, you need to break the chains, break the patterns of toxicity that are running through your life at this time. And what better time to do it than um, while you're in the middle of a tower moment. That tower moment's coming whether you like it or not. There's not going to be any change here, okay? You guys are just going to keep going around in this toxic, cyclical bullshit, okay? You're going to keep going around and around and around. It's going to keep going on. I don't see any significant change here. I don't see you um, getting what you need from them or getting what you're hoping for from them. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo because I do have both cards of Leo here, which I normally don't do unless I have a significant amount of um, evidence pointing that way. But where we've got Leo and Leo, some of you may be dealing with a Leo, but I usually don't like to say that because you could be dealing with anybody. It could be a Leo rising, Leo Venus, Leo Mercury, Mars, whatever. Um, it's all depend all dependent on how the energy comes in. So guys, you need to realize that, um, you're emotionally stuck. You're not going anywhere. The chariot is a war vehicle. It's made, it's a box on wooden wheels. Okay. It's literally a box on wooden wheels. Now, if the chariot flips over, you're done for. Well, it's flipped over, guys. You can't go any further in this situation, okay? It's time to reach into that divine strength and pull yourself out of whatever toxic cycles you're in. You guys got this. I know it. Make up your mind on what you want and walk away from what you don't want, okay? But you need to take the time to make up your mind on what it is that you want. Okay, guys, that is what I have for you for December 16th through December 31st, 2020. Again, it's a general reading. If you would like a more personalized reading, my email and all of my information, my PayPal, everything is in the box below. This is your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot B, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Okay, Sagittarius, love you guys.